You know, I'm getting tired of people talking about uh, Bill Belichick, uh, Tom Brady, Brady making him. How come no one's talking about Mike Tomlin? How come we talk about Mike McCarthy being this horrible coach, this laughing stock, a joke of a coach in Dallas, yet Mike Tomlin gets a pass? I mean, really, I mean, has any coach ever got a pass like Mike Tomlin? He gets beat by Tim Tebow in the playoffs on the only throw Tim Tebow knows how to make in the NFL. I mean, the guy's the worst quarterback ever to play the game. And he gets beat in the playoffs by him. He gets destroyed by Blake Bortles in the playoffs at home. At home. They're down 28-7 to before you can look up at the scoreboard. Nobody says a word. Ah, ah, well, you know, let it pass. Let it pass. They get beat by Baker Mayfield in the Cleveland Browns on one-day practice with uh, three of their starters out, offensive linemen from COVID, and no head coach. At home, they get these. You look up, it's 35 7. But nobody says anything. The media doesn't say nothing about, oh, Mike Tomlin, uh, he's, he's got to get this team. He, he really failed. No one. No one says nothing. Nothing. But if it's Mike McCarthy, oh, McCarthy's got to go. He, he's terrible. He, 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 Bill Belichick, so he can't coach. He, it was all Tom Brady. Everybody, Mike Tomlin has that golden fucking card right now. Nobody calls him out. Terrence Bradshaw called him out, but they won't call him out. You know why? Because he's African-American. And in this day and age, you can't call out an African-American because you know why? You're considered racist. That's got to be it. Mike Mike McCarthy is the same exact coach as Mike uh, Tomlin. They're both horrible. But Mike McCarthy beat Mike Tomlin head to head, and they both had Hall of Fame quarterbacks. You know, Bill Cowher, I never thought was a great coach. He was a good coach. But he never had the benefit of having a Hall of Fame quarterback his whole tenure in Pittsburgh. So actually, he was better than Tomlin. Because if he had Roethlisberger his whole time in Pittsburgh, I guarantee he'd have more than one Super Bowl. Mike Tomlin's wasted a Hall of Fame quarterback and, a, and just great players. I've never seen a coach do less with more. And I'm so tired of people talking about Belichick, Brady made him, and, and, and they put Tomlin on this pedestal. He can't be touched. I, I want one of the media members to call out Mike Tomlin. Be a man. Be a man. Call him out for what he is. An average coach at best. Honestly, I don't even think he's average. I think he's below average. You can say what you want about him. He never had a losing season. It's kind of hard to do when you got all that talent Pittsburgh has with the Hall of Fame quarterback. Now his quarterback sucks. What is he, 1-2? and two? He got beat by the Bengals 24-7. They, If Josh Allen didn't play like a rookie, they would have been 0-3 right now. This guy is a clown. He's the worst coach ever. When I watch Cleveland go in there and just humiliate them, it was embarrassing. I'm a Browns fan. I'm glad they keep Mike Tomlin because he's the... Listen, Mike Tomlin's had the luxury of beating up. I mean, he gets four free wins a year from Cleveland and Cincinnati. Cleveland and Cincinnati have been horrible the last 20 years, right? He's had four easy wins there every year. Take away them four wins a year, and guess what? Mike Tomlin's probably below average win-loss win record. And Steeler fans, will most of them will agree with me. They want him gone. He's not a disciplinarian. He's not a leader. I know people think he's a leader. How's a leader let his players do whatever the fuck they want? Listen, Juju Smith had a chance to go to the Kansas City Chiefs for like $8 million more. Had a chance to go to the Baltimore Ravens for like $7 million more. I don't blame him there. Can't throw a ball. But why wouldn't you want to go to the Chiefs with Patrick Mahomes? Oh, that's right. Andy Reid won't put up with the TikTok shenanigans. I can sit here in Pittsburgh and do whatever the fuck I want because my head coach don't give a fuck because he wants to be my boy. Hey, what's up, bro? What's happening, bro? What's up, baby boy? That's Mike Tomlin for you. Mike Tomlin is the biggest, overrated, most overrated coach ever. And it's it's an embarrassment because he will get in the Hall of Fame. That's how sad he is. He will get in the Hall of Fame. But if you look at his record, he's got one Super Bowl with all that talent. And that is an embarrassment. You put Bill Belichick in that same fucking team for as long as Mike Tomlin's been there, and I'll guarantee he has at least four or five more Super Bowls with that fucking roster. Guaranteed. Mike Tomlin is the most overrated coach, and it makes me sick how nobody in the media will call him out. But they're going to call Bill Belichick out now because he lost the greatest quarterback in NFL history. His roster last year, everybody backed out from COVID. Now he's starting a rookie quarterback, and he's one and two. We'll call out Bill Belichick, but nobody calls out Mike Tomlin. No one says a word about Mike Tomlin. Mike Tomlin's on a pedestal. You can't touch him. Standard is standard. Uh, we're going to look at it, correct it on film. And um, standard is standard. We're going to look at it, correct it on film. Standard is standard. We're going to look at it, correct it on film. Standard is standard. That's all Mike Tomlin is. That's all he is. The guy is a clown.
And I love it as a Browns fan because he's horrible. And it's still a fans know it. If you guys had a real coach that had discipline, your team would be so much better. It's embarrassing. Ben Roethlisberger shouldn't even be playing right now. Mike Tomlin allows this type of disruptive behavior to fester in that locker room. I remember Antonio Brown filming Mike Tomlin in the locker room when he made, gave, gave a player a speech about New England going to kick their ass. What happened the next week? They got their asses beat by New England. Mike Tomlin has no control over his players because he wants to be their boys. But Mike Tomlin will go. He'll have a Hall of Fame bust. Never seen a guy. I mean, this is it's embarrassing. This guy will have a Hall of Fame bust, but if you look at his coaching career, he's horrible. I mean, hell, I could go coach the Pittsburgh Steelers with one Super Bowl win. I mean, hell, he played the fucking Cardinals. And it took a great throw and catch by Santonio Holmes and Ben Roethlisberger to win that game. So I want one of you NFL analysts. To, I mean, Terry Bradshaw, give him credit. He called him out years ago. Someone call out Mike Tomlin. I mean, after the Browns dismantled them in the playoffs, I didn't hear nobody say anything about Tomlin. If that was Bill Belichick getting beat by the Browns in the playoffs, well, Bill Belichick, see, he just, he's, he's got to go. He's got to go. Nobody says a word about Mike Tomlin. He's on a pedestal. You can't pick on Mike Tomlin. So, Mike, and I know you're going to see this. I know you'll see this. Mike, I'm about the same age as you. You are a clown as a head coach. Maybe if you were more disciplined and not trying to be your players' buddies, maybe things would be a little different for you. Maybe they'd respect you. That's why Juju Smith does what he wants. That's why, hey, you want to know something funny? You can say what you want about the Bengals. Last year, Juju Smith ran his mouth before Monday night game, whatever, dancing on a logo. That fired them boys up. They won with a bang. Hey, you got beat by a backup quarterback. <laughs> and then Cleveland comes in there and just fucking humiliates you. You had a chance to, you were down by what, 19, 50-yard line, fourth quarter starts, you fourth and one, you had the Browns on the ropes defense, so they couldn't stop you, and you punted the ball. That's when I knew this guy, when you did that, I, th I think, thank God, because I know how that story ends as a Browns fan. Trust me, if you go for it there, you'll get it, and it could have been lights out for the Browns, but you chose to punt the ball away. <laughs> Mike Tomlin, you've just been schooled here and exposed. Everybody sees this video, start looking at your record and resume, and they'll say, you know what, this guy's right. Mike Tomlin is fucking overrated. And if this video, if anyone watches this video that votes for the Hall of Fame, which no one will, you won't get in the Hall of Fame because you ain't deserving of the Hall of Fame. Trust me when I tell you, you're nowhere near Hall of Fame head coach. One Super Bowl in all that time there? No. You're Mike McCarthy. That's what you are. And everybody clowns Mike McCarthy, but not you. That's an embarrassment. Mike McCarthy, actually, he might be a better coach than you. He might be. I know he beat you one-on-one -on -one in the Super Bowl. Anyway, Mike Tomlin, have a good day. Still offense, have a good day finishing with four wins this year, if you're lucky. Um, that's all I got to say about that.